Here we go is right. It was dry for almost the entire day. We had the hard freeze warning in effect this morning, and now the rain is just starting up snow as well. Now, all of this is going to be fairly light through the early part of the evening. Then we start to get the heavy stuff. I'm going to detail that timing. Look at this. We're starting to see snow near the Redding area. That snow is going to go all the way into Red Bluff. We're looking at accumulating snow in those areas through tonight, and then the snow level starts to rise ever so slightly, and I'll show you those levels as well. Here's the big low, and this is going to feed us for several days with moisture coming in off the Pacific because of so much rain and the sensitive vegeta uh, uh, landscape that we have from those burn scars over the summer. We have this flash flood watch in effect until Thursday. That'll be for the LNU complex. That's right here north of I-80. And then the SCU, remember that one near Tracy through the canyons there? Those will be very susceptible for mudslides and debris flows. Gilmore backyard right now. Some light showers coming through. That will intensify and the winds picking up as well. Look at that right in the corner of your screen there. The winds are starting to blow those plants around quite a bit. Winds will be gusting at times to 60 plus miles per hour. Temperatures this morning, well, we reached definitely the freezing mark and below that we were in the mid 20s to right around 30 for the Sierra three below zero for South Lake Tahoe. That cold air mass in place only gave us highs in the upper 40s to near 50. 30s and 40s for the foothills and 20s for the Sierra. Not a bad rebound after that cold morning. Beautiful shot up here in Colfax. Bill sending that into our ABC 10 weather force. Upload those photos on the ABC 10 app and keep it handy through the course of this storm. It'll really keep you ahead of what's to come and all the changes. Again, snow level tonight, 500 feet. Gets to about 2,500 feet tomorrow, up to about 3,500 feet on Thursday. That means many of you that saw the low snow will have that melting and it will turn over to rain. Tracy Humphrey was kind of detailing that as we'll see a lot of fluctuating conditions for the foothills. Since October 1st, look at this. We are 1 to 50 inches behind in our rainfall, especially for Northern California. This is well needed rain. It's just in in some cases a little too much too uh, short a period of time. Here's the big plume of moisture just bullnosing right into the San Francisco Bay Area where we'll see some bigger impacts, especially along the coast with that AR scale, both beneficial and hazardous rain coming our way. Here's the timeline. Again, the biggest band of rain comes in right about midnight. Strong winds as well. Snow levels still pretty low, roughly at about 1,000 feet to 1,500 feet. Then they start to rise as we start to see some of the warmer air mix in. It's not going to be real warm, but this Will take us all the way almost to our Friday forecast before we get a bigger break Friday night through Saturday. So rainfall will be about two to two and a half inches through the valley, closer to about three to four for the foothills. And then obviously we're going to continue to monitor the snow upwards of 70 to 100 inches in some places. Tomorrow highs will be in the 30s for the Sierra, 40s for the foothills. But again, we'll see those changing conditions Friday night, Saturday morning, a little bit more on the drier side, but pretty much expect difficult travel in the Sierra. Highs in the 50s along the coast and in the valley as well. We've got several watches and warnings out, mostly because of wind, heavy rain. It's going to be dangerous out there. 10 day forecast. Well, it's a lot of rain until next Monday. Then things start to dry out ever so slightly by the middle of next week.